What do you know about the future of warfare, emerging technologies and their impact? So, today's video is based on this topic. In this thought-provoking exploration, we'll also delve into the latest technologies that reshaped the nature of wars. For history seekers, this may sound quite interesting. Our journey begins with the rise of autonomous systems and artificial intelligence in warfare. Have you got any idea about this? Do you know that these technologies transformed and conducted military operations using aerial vehicles to autonomous vehicles? Yes, this information is exactly true. Also, they were successful to analyze the vast amount of data, make the right decisions in the right place, and engage in warfare without the participation of any human effort. AI got the potential to revolutionize warfare greatly. Also, these technologies got the ability to carry out reconnaissance, provide logistical support, and even engage in warfare with incredible precision. But these technologies do not make balance equally with the control of humans. Also, these technologies do not potent at making correct decisions unlike humans. So we need to keep in mind that any of the technologies which were invented years ago or recently has not had the power to work without any human influence. We as humans should keep technology as an advantage because we're the ones who can control the balance between the world and technology. Our next journey starts with cyber warfare and operations. This was a reason to extend warfare and battlefields. Reason? In modern conflicts as well as in history, cyber warfare and operations were potent and emerged tools. They got the ability to disrupt critical infrastructure, manipulate information and conduct covert operations in cyberspace, which also has profound implications for natural security. Imagine a future of warfare that will truly gain a strategic advantage with this increased emphasis on defending against cyber threats and leveraging technology. You'll be amazed! But did you think about what will happen to the critical systems due to these implications? In our opinion, they will be more protected than ever before. The ability to cripple an adversary's infrastructure, compromise their communications and manipulate information can be highly effective in this case. Sounds great, right? That means the future battlefields will be weaponized with virtual domains, which means the information will be weaponized. That means defending against cyber threats becomes crucial with these interconnected systems. To develop robust protocols and foster collaborations to counter evolving cyber landscape, nations will truly need to invest in cyber security capabilities. Not easy, right? As a result of it, ethical considerations surrounding privacy, data protection, and the responsible use of cyber tools will also play a vital role. So what's next? It's about directed energy weapons and hypersonic technology. What do you feel about future warfare? With these implications of directed energy weapons and hypersonic technology, they are emerging as disruptive forces in future warfare. So you may be wondering what are these directed energy weapons? They are lasers and electromagnetic railguns which offer precise and scalable offensive capabilities. So then what are these hypersonic technologies? When it sounds hypersonic, we surely think that a uh, meaning like speed or high speed? Yes, it's true, hypersonic technology enables high-speed flight and presents unprecedented challenges for defense systems. The ultimate goal of these technologies is to promise faster, more precise and more lethal engagements, revolutionizing the way battles are fought. Need to know the experts' opinion regarding these directed energy weapons and hypersonic technology? Stay tuned because we're on our way to discussing those right now. Experts say that the directed weapons have the potential to redefine war. The power of lasers and electromagnetic railguns has the potential to offer speed, accuracy and scalability. Together with that, they can also neutralize threats with minimal collateral damage. They also say that the development of them will raise concerns about the proliferation and the need for international norms and regulations. Experts refer to this hypersonic technology as a game-changer on the battlefield. They also say that these hypersonic missiles have speeds greater than Mark V challenges existing defense systems. Also, they say that this technology will require advanced detection and defense systems to keep pace with these evolving threats. What's next? It's about biotechnology and enhanced human performance. To the soldiers on the battlefield, biotechnology and enhanced human performance are reshaping their capabilities. So it is so valuable for the soldiers. From exoskeletons and enhanced prosthetics to cognitive enhancements, these technologies offer improved strength, endurance and cognitive abilities. However, they also raise ethical questions surrounding the line between human and machine and the potential for creating an imbalance in military power. 
Biotechnology and enhanced human performance can enhance physical and cognitive capabilities that can create superhuman soldiers who possess strength, speed and resilience. But these implications have no power to create an imbalance in power because they should ensure that these enhancements align with ethical principles and also must tread carefully. As we contemplate the future of warfare and the impact of emerging technologies, it becomes evident that ethical considerations and human judgment must remain at the forefront, balancing the potential benefits of advanced technologies with the need for responsible use and robust oversight is essential. Only by approaching the future of warfare with a thoughtful and ethical mindset can we harness the transformative power of technology while preserving our values and minimizing the risks. Join us again on the History Hub as we continue to explore the fascinating advancements that shape the future of battlefield and discuss the implications of security, ethics and global stability.